I wanted to show you the difference between the leucistic great horned owl and the regular great horned owl, which are found all over North America. They refer to the tiger owl and the hoot owl. The leucistic great horned owl has a loss of pigmentation, which results in white skin, feathers, cuticles, and pale talons, beak. Has yellow eyes. If they are red, she's albino, but she's not. Great horned owls are known for their ear tufts, which aren't actually ears, they are feathers, which are also known as plumicorns. So when people tell me anything about a unicorn, I'm like, eh, they don't exist, but plumicorns do. And owls have two of them, and they're the most magical bird on the planet, so there. Um, I simply cannot control my love, passion, and perseverance to travel and get these beautiful creatures in the wild. Look at how beautiful she is soaking up that winter sun. Oh my dear God. Watching her for two days, I couldn't speak. I was in awe and I'm still pinching myself. I can't believe out of the four owls like this in the USA, I was able to spend two days with her. I really love the great horned owls as they are. The beautiful plumage of orange, brown, black, gray, white, and that intense stare like, if you mess with me, I might gouge out your eyeballs. That's why these are one of my favorite owls because, you know, if you're late at night in the woods or going down a dark alley, or you're near a nest and you got Mama Great Horn Owl looking at you like that, you know, you should be instilled with fear because they will attack humans who get too close to the nest. And I kind of like them that way. I mean, with all other owls, like saw wet owls or barred owls, snowy owls, they all look cute. But it's the Great Horned Owl, which is more noble and... Uh, you can just tell you don't want to mess with them whatsoever. I really liked watching this one clean her talons so, so intently. I can watch them do anything. It, it really matters not to me what the owl does. Just to be in the presence of something so magnificent, I feel like I have won the lottery. Now what a lot of people don't know is with all my health issues, after doing a journey like this, I'm pretty much bedbound for a week afterwards, unable to do anything. But as you know, I will do anything for an owl. Here, the leucistic great horned owl sees something in the sky. She is intent studying it. I think it was a turkey vulture or an eagle. I just love them. Everything about owl is hypnotic, mesmerizing, and just beyond breathtaking. I hope you've enjoyed this video of these beautiful feathered angels. And in just a few seconds, I'm going to show you how far away I actually was. So have a great day.